in effect, if placed into effect as, in, as currently envisioned, does this rule effectively reset uh, the emission standards for autos, lightning and heavy duty trucks back to 2008 standards? What sorts of things would be left in place? What would be taken out? As it relates to greenhouse gas emission standards on light duty, medium duty, and heavy duty, it doesn't reset anything. It eliminates everything. Hey guys, welcome back. I know we're all excited, super excited about we're going to be able to delete our diesels. Yes, yes. So let's all crack open some beers and, you know, enjoy this monumentous victory that we have managed to overcome. And we got to thank President Donald Trump for, you know, getting rid of all the new emissions laws. And it's just going to be so awesome, right? Wrong. Y'all are wrong. It will never be legal to fully delete your truck. I'm going to give you a couple reasons why. So let's let's take one realistic view of a skyline view of let's say Dallas back in 1978 when there was this brown cloud that was covering Dallas and it was from emissions from cars now yes we did have different gasoline back then and everything else but you take a same aerial view of Dallas now and you don't have near that pollution just hanging over. Same with Los Angeles. I don't know how many times I've come out of the mountains into Los Angeles now and it's still pretty bad, but the population has tripled since then. It's a lot better than what it could be. We gotta thank some of the emissions, some of the emissions components on vehicles for cleaning up those tailpipe pollutants. Now let's make this more dedicated towards the diesel trucks, all right? Here, here's one reason why it will never be legal to fully delete and tune your vehicle. Everybody out there on the internet is saying, yes, give me that Thomas the Train smoke tune. You're killing it for everybody else. You're killing it for everybody to be able to delete and tune their trucks because you are visually putting out a pollutant that everybody else out there does not want to breathe. There are plenty of places that are offering clean tunes. I mean, take a look at what Gale Banks is able to do out of a diesel, bring well over a thousand horsepower and not one bit of black smoke comes out of that tailpipe. Everybody out there building these dirty tunes that are causing these black clouds to come out the tailpipe on the diesels, you are the reason why this will never be legal. Now with that being said, are there gonna be certain things that we can do? Yes, we, we're probably gonna be able to delete DEF, totally, off of light duty, medium duty, heavy duty trucks. They're proving that to be bad for the bees or something like that, right? Killing all the bees and the bee population severely going down. I haven't seen a honey shortage at the grocery store, so I don't know, but there's going to be other after treatment devices that are either going to be modified or the tunes in the vehicles being modified to where you're not getting all of these check engine lights, P2459, P402, any of the other ones that are all related to after treatment problems. They are going to make it to where these are going to be way more costly to work on however I can highly suspect that when they see tailpipe emissions like people rolling coal you're gonna get some pretty hefty fines and if they find out who did that tune and that delete they're probably gonna get some pretty hefty fines there is no way that they are going to allow the entire diesel community to start rolling coal it's not gonna happen so don't get yourself all delusional in the fact that you think that it's going to be legal to do this. It ain't. Now, we have to take some of this back to the des the, the dissolution of the Chevron deference. Thank you for the fishermen down in the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf of America, whatever you want to call it now, for actually going after these agencies that are employed by the government and all of its different arms. But... When they dissolved that, it did open the gates for all of the other CARB, EPA, as pertaining to what we're talking about, 
for all of their rules and policies and laws to now be critiqued to a point to where we can get them deleted off the books out of the law books so in one essence yes they are going to revert everything back to 2008 standard however there will be oversight in there that will prevent people from being able to legally go out there and roll coal we've got to take that into consideration people we cannot depend on mother earth to keep fixing things for us we've got to start taking care of her and if that means you got to put a clean tune you got to spend a couple extra thousand dollars to get a clean tune and clean emissions equipment on your vehicle that doesn't inhibit the ability to to make power then you do that you do it responsibly you cannot be allowed to just put the cheapest crap on there put the biggest tune on there and Thomas the train roll coal down the street I hate it when I'm behind a diesel that is just spewing out unburned fuel right in front of me. Can't stand it. And all you Ford owners know what that's like. Eyes start watering, nose starts dripping when you're in traffic behind one of these trucks. It's absolutely terrible. Not to mention the black cloud that comes out of the tailpipe when you take off from a stop sign. It's ridiculous. Everybody needs to be held accountable for the actions of the mass. You can't just take the stance that it's just me that's doing it because it's not just you that's doing it. I mean, open up your TikTok, open up your YouTube, open up your Instagram, whatever. And there is feed after feed after feed of people just rolling coal. That should only be done on a racetrack, in a race environment. That's why those parts say for race use only. It's because it's not responsible to be using that kind of equipment and those kinds of tunes on the street. So, here's what I think is going to happen. I think that the DEF will be either tuned out from the manufacturers or the customers will be given the option of deleting those devices on their vehicles. It's probably all going to be at the customer's expense too. You can't expect all the manufacturers that are producing a diesel engine to pay to have the DEF systems deleted. I think that if the system malfunctions, you will have the ability to tune it out and then delete it out yourself. That's what I think is actually going to happen. I can also see that the DPF probably will change where you can go back to like let's say a 2005, 6, 7, 8 catalytic converter style thing on a truck but pretty much just an ash can but we've got to be able to do these do this kind of a process with hopes that people are going to use responsible tunes again we can't have coal rolling trucks rolling down the road that's part of the reason why I never have gotten into doing tunes and deletes is because it's not responsible now those of you who do know me from way back when before I really cared, before I took the time to, to understand what we were doing to the environment, I was guilty of it myself. I had my one ton and I could roll coal with the best of them with that thing. But now, as an older person, I understand that what those are doing to the environment are not under good conscience. So we've got to take some responsibility as a community, as a whole, to uphold some responsibility. Okay, I can also see that this is gonna open up a whole new market, and this is what I'm excited about. A whole new market for people building responsible tunes. Can we turn out certain functions? Can we tune out regen cycles and so on and so forth? Yes, we can. And I see that the people who have been putting in the time, putting in the money, the elbow grease, to build these vehicles with responsible tuning to where they can make really good power without polluting the crap out of the environment. I see that those companies are going to take off. They're going to be the top ones where people are going to be beating down the door to get work done from them by. 
I'm not going to mention any of these companies out there right now because honestly I think every one of them is pretty guilty of rolling coal on customers vehicles and they don't really care they're just getting a paycheck right but I am excited that a lot of the stuff that the previous presidencies had allowed to get put into law are going to be taken out you know this is just one more step in advancement for all of us truck owners out there who want to be able to have a dependable vehicle want to be able to drive a vehicle without fear that it's going to burn up on us on the highway and so on and so forth we can throw scenarios out there left and right but it's also going to make these vehicles a lot cheaper when you go to buy them you don't have to go out and buy a brand new truck that's got $25,000 worth of after treatment stuff on it if that's all gone except for a couple minor things then the cost of the vehicle should drop too I think right I think it should we'll, we'll find out for sure I think it's going to take probably up until 26 late 26 probably 27 before we see that but who knows we'll find out so we don't want to sit here and beat it to death about everybody being responsible but I do want everybody to understand that they have to do their part in making it to where when it does come time to put into law and action that certain things can be done without having any oversight from government any potential traffic violations or whatever because they're doing it responsibly but I do want to keep saying this over and over and over again. The people out there that are rolling coal, that are putting out visible tailpipe emissions, are what's going to kill it for the rest of the community for making it to where it's legal to delete and tune your vehicle. Let's get that straight. Again, the people out there that are rolling coal are the ones that are actually going to prevent it from being legal to delete and tune your vehicle so quit putting out the videos but I mean for one you're giving them a footprint to exactly where you live so they can come and prosecute you for it for two you're ruining it for the rest of us what about the normal guy who just buys a truck and wants to pull his camper up into the mountains without fear that it's gonna light on fire or break down you're killing it for everybody but that's what I got to say on the matter I'm sure I'm gonna get lots of comments and honestly I don't care this is my opinion you want to put your opinion out there start yourself a YouTube channel you have the right to do that you don't like my opinion then just move on to the next video but for those of you out there who do like my videos who do believe in what I believe Go ahead and hit the like and the comment and the share buttons and all that stuff. I mean, the, the views I definitely need. The shares are great because more people see it. And I want to thank all of you guys for that who have done your part in helping grow my channel. It's been awesome. So anyway, I'm going to get off of this for now. But I wanted to thank every one of you out there who do watch. Keep watching. We've got a bunch more exciting stuff coming up soon. And then we're going to have a break for a while because I have to sadly go in for a couple of major surgeries. But that's besides the point. You'll hear about that all later in future videos. So anyway, thanks again. Have a good one. And later.